Good morning boys and a very warm welcome back. Uh, we thought we would put together a video for you this morning because of COVID and the regulations we can't gather you all in the hall which is what I would love to do to see you and to speak with you but we thought we would put together just a quick video to give you all of the information that you need and to try as far as we can to provide some reassurance for you. We've missed you, we have missed you terribly and we are very keen to have you back in the building but we also know that for um, some of you, you are going to be really concerned about how you're getting your grades this year. What does it mean for your future? What will happen to the work that you've done on lockdown? You'll have so many questions and throughout the video, various people are going to speak to you and provide some reassurance. But I just wanted to say to you that we're in a very different situation. Last year, we were awarding grades and the um, process was done really without any evidence. This year, it's very different. The awarding organisations that you complete your exams with, like SIA and VTEC and so on, they want evidence. So our plan, as we've developed it over the last few days, has really been to look at where can we get that evidence? Where can we provide assessment, which will give you the chance to do your very best and to get grades which reflect your ability? Nobody's gonna be disadvantaged. Absolutely not. I will not be having that. I'll be making sure that you get what you are capable of and your teachers have got a good plan. So Miss Farquhar is going to talk to you because primarily she has been looking after this piece of work and she will be the person you go to with any of your questions or your queries. And then you're going to hear from your year heads and um, people in the, in the teams attached to you who will give you the guidance and the support that you need. But please just be reassured, we're really, really glad to see you. We're going to help and support you and we're going to make sure that nobody is disadvantaged by what has happened. So I'm going to come around to classes this morning um, as well as you haven't watched this video. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you as well. Welcome back. Hello, gentlemen. Really good to get to speak to you again. I want to reassure you primarily of your return to school and what the next number of weeks are going to look like. Firstly, you are coming back to a period of teaching. I know there will be lots of discussion in the media and social media about tests and assessments. We have a very clear plan that you come back to us and we are teaching and helping you with structured revision. So your normal timetable will run from Monday the 22nd until Tuesday the 30th until we break for Easter. What staff have been working on is the SIA guidance to best work out a plan for awarding your grades. For SIA qualifications, so for year 12 that is English, Maths, English Literature, Moving Image Arts, Geography, History, Digital Technology, Science, Double Award Science, and occupational studies. Those subjects will require us to send away evidence of the grades that we are awarding for you. Some of that evidence will be gathered after Easter from assessments. The reason why we will be doing assessments after Easter is to ensure that we have had a chance back with you in face-to-face -face teaching to prepare you as securely as you can to provide really strong evidence for the grades that we will be awarding. But when you return after Easter, it won't be straight into assessments. There will be another period of teaching before you would be getting assessed. Those assessments will be mostly class-based. They will happen in your class. Teachers will look really carefully to see what content that you are prepared for what content you have covered really securely so that anything that will be on assessments that are designed will be content that you are familiar with and that you have confidence in dealing with. It may not be a full length of a normal exam paper. So assessments will be very much happening in your classes and within class time and you will be really thoroughly prepared for those. Staff will be spending a lot of time ensuring that those assessments are designed fairly. There will be lots of time spent in departments marking, cross-marking, to ensure that there's consistency and fairness 
in the grades that are being awarded. Staff have had training on standardisation and moderation, which is a really important part of this process. And you will have every opportunity to display your best work in any assessments that you do. Now, when I talk about assessment, that is very much for exam based subjects. And many of you will cover courses that are not entirely or at all assessed by exams. So anyone on a VTEC subject, an OCM subject um, and occupational studies, you'll be aware that exams aren't used to assess you. So for those subjects, it really will just be business as usual. So please be reassured by that. You'll be working on your ongoing coursework and Mr. Carly will speak to you a little bit about that, about the importance of meeting deadlines. So really any period of testing and assessments won't begin until late April. So that gives us a really good run in with you to get you back into the routines of being in class, to get you back into the routines of learning to learn and revision. And we will use all of the time that we have with you really wisely. We will use Wednesday afternoons really wisely to get you as best prepared as we can. And all you need to do is come in, engage with your teachers, take the advice that you're given. We have a really clear plan in our heads. We have a really clear plan on how we're delivering that to you. And teachers have been working very hard. There have been two staff development days where we have spent planning for this process of centre determined grades. We're really looking forward to having you back. And we just want you to come back and give this period your all. You can do very well out of this. You have to work hard, yes, but we are there to support you through that. We are here to answer any questions that you have. And as always is the case in the boys model, in the run up to any process of pupils getting grades, we know what we're doing. So please trust us and work with us through this and we will ensure that you have the best chances of success and get everything that you need to get through this um, uncertain period. Hopefully you have found those messages reassuring and are going into this period now feeling a little less uncertain. So as more detail comes through for each of the different exam boards, we will communicate that to you. Your teachers will talk to you about that. And um, you can, we're here to ask and answer any questions that you have. That's for you and that is for your parents. So it will be absolutely great to, to get this plan off the ground and we're really looking forward to it. And it's great to see you all again. See you again soon. Hello gentlemen, it's great to have an opportunity to speak to you. Following on from this, from what Ms. Farquhar said, there's a couple of things that I want to talk to you about and stress the importance of. One of the big things that we're going to have is a, a quite a short um, time frame of an assessment window, as Ms. Farquhar has explained. What we need to be doing immediately once we get back and we get our list of topics that we're going to be assessed on is we need to start um, revision. We will show you in school the most efficient way to, to revise. Um, there are different ways that work for, for different boys, but that's really, really important. All the content that you will be assessed on will be stuff that you have been taught face to face and that you should be reasonably comfortable with and reasonably secure with. So it's really important that we do get into that revision straight away and give ourselves the, the greatest opportunity we have to do well in the assessments. Another big thing that we need to do is listen to our teachers. Teachers will be giving us advice. They will be telling us what to do. We have been through this process. Most of your teachers in here many many times they know what they're doing we have a plan for you when you come back and the teachers will have a plan for their individual subjects so it's really important that you listen and take on the advice that is being given with you also if you're doing a portfolio subject meeting deadlines are hugely important there will be quite a tight turnaround in terms of what you need to get handed in if you are struggling with a certain subject in terms of deadlines you need to speak to your teacher you need to let them know that there's something that you're really finding difficult and then extra support can be put in place for you to get that done. On a Wednesday afternoon, gents, enrichment will no longer be running the way it did before Christmas. 
we will be using that time for um, subject specific catch up to maximise the amount of time that you have to succeed across the, the curriculum. And the last thing for me that I'm going to say is everything that you took away with you before Christmas, whether that's portfolio, work, textbooks, notebooks, um, class tests, they all need to be brought in um, as soon as possible. So they do, preferably the first day, but if not the first day, then on the Tuesday that you're in, because everything that you have there is needed for revision, for assessments, and for catching up on some of the portfolio work. Thank you. Hello, gents. Well, it's great to be starting back to school, isn't it? I know that many of you are very excited about this return to school. I know that many of you have struggled and realise that school is the best place for you. And I know that some of you are nervous about your return to school. So I just wanted to talk to you about what sort of things that you can do and that we will be doing in order to make sure that this next period of time is a productive period of time for you guys and a successful period of time. So you gents are going to be in school in your normal school days, your normal school uniform and normal school timings will apply. It is important that you arrive punctually gents, it's important that you're here on time and ready um, for the lessons with your teachers over the course of the next few months. Um, when you return, a lot of, a lot of what was, has gone before will look the same. You will be still in your zones, still down in the ICT department. We will still have the same health and safety procedures in place and we will equip you with a pack when you arrive in and when you arrive in to make sure that you have all of the equipment that you need. It's important that we follow that gents because we need to keep each other safe and we need to minimise any school absence from here on in. Um, you guys are um, no doubt um, feeling a little bit unsure about what the next few weeks are going to look like and I hope that the messages that you've already received um, will alleviate some of those concerns and I just want you to, to know that there's no need for you to be worrying and panicking. Over the course of the next few months guys we've got a really really tight plan in place. It's going to be highly structured time, it's going to be highly productive and we have no doubt at the end of this with the, there are opportunities through this period that you guys will be successful. As long as you arrive with a good work ethic, with the right positive attitude, that you're ready to learn, that you're ready to take on the advice from your teachers, I have no doubt in my mind that you will be absolutely fine. That being said, gents, it is important that when you are feeling worried or concerned that you reach out and that you get the support. Now myself, um, Mr Carlyle, Mrs Montgomery, Ms Farquhar, Ms, Mrs McCracken, all of those faces that you're used to seeing on a daily basis, Ms Livingstone, will be in and out of your form classes in those first few days back. You will see lots of faces around, so if you need to come and speak to us, please gents make sure that you do. If you're not comfortable doing that, have a conversation with your parents. You know that we are very easily accessible, gents, that we will return calls, we will have those conversations with your parents if you're not comfortable having those yourselves. There will be two issues if you have any, there would be two concerns that you might have, some might be subject specific. If that's the case, then speak to your teacher, speak to the curriculum leader, come and speak to myself and Mr Carlyle and we can have those conversations for you. And if it's generally about how you're feeling about school or concerns outside of school, come and speak to myself and Miss Livingstone. There is a lot of support available for you and we want to make sure that you understand that we've got that support and that we want to be able to, to take you through the next period, this next period with as, as the, the least amount of difficulties that you could have with a very smooth run to the finish of your year 12. And like I said, at the end of it all, we have no doubt, no doubt with a good attitude that you gents will be walking away with a fantastic set of results ready for your next steps in your future.